The next material that I'd like to talk about is Kevlar. And the reason that I want to highlight this material is because it has some additional modifications to the polymer structure that make it behave very differently from the bowl of spaghetti kind of picture that we developed when we talked about polyethylene. Kevlar is a trade name uh, for polyparaphenylene terephthalamide or polypphenylene terephthalamide. And notice that the structure of this repeat unit has these rigid carbon ring groups incorporated directly on the polymer backbone. So remember in polystyrene, we had these groups as well, but they were side groups on the carbon-carbon backbone. Here, they're actually part of the backbone, and this structure has a big impact on the mechanical properties of this material because it makes this molecule itself very rigid, almost like a rod-like structure. So no more floppy spaghetti strand. This is like a rigid rod. And so as a result, these, these individual molecules are very strong uh, and can be spun into very strong fibers that have uh, strength equivalent to or greater than metals like steel. So for this reason, uh, these materials are used a lot uh, in applications like bulletproof vests. Uh, they're woven into fabrics uh, for these vests and body armor, uh, sports equipment, you know, tennis rackets, things like that, and other specialty kinds of applications where high strength and low weight are very important. So uh, one that I talked about uh, previously was these oxygen bottles. So these fibers can be woven uh, or can be spun uh, and uh, arranged uh, into um, uh, cylindrical uh, shaped uh, pressure vessels uh, that can be used uh, to hold uh, oxygen, for example, when climbers uh, are going to Mount Everest. Uh, they obviously want to carry uh, as little weight as possible uh, because it's a very strenuous climb. So these oxygen bottles are made from Kevlar type uh, materials. But the key point for any of these applications is that here, incorporation of this rigid carbon ring structure on the polymer backbone makes the polymer itself very rigid, and that significantly impacts its mechanical properties.